and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the 2022 Gap Options tracking for the expiration week of January 21st, 2022. Uh, gonna take a look back here again at the trades for this particular week. It was a very good week. I'm gonna go over advanced trader results. There was a 100% win ratio for this week. What does that mean? It means that every single trade worked. Uh, again, it has been a very good year to trade. Um, I think it's been a very good year to day trade and do options simply because of the volatility in the market. And I do focus on shorting. Now that doesn't mean that I will never go long, but I do prefer to short and it's been a really good year to short. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So everything that I do is based on my Golden Gap rating system, all right? So I look at the gap, I rate the gap in the morning, and if you sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, this is a subscription service, I'm doing the analysis, I'm doing the rating in the morning. You're receiving the newsletter live to your email inbox when I call it, okay? So for this particular week, <coughs> again, this was the week expiring January 21st, so I always do the weeklies. There were 18 trades, it was a busy week. 100% win ratio, if you did them all, you don't have to do them all. You could do one, you could do two, you could have done half of these, okay? Zero break even, zero losers, advanced trader risk in total, total all the positions, 143,350, and advanced trader profits, 249,000. Return on investment, 172%. Again, it was a very solid week. Now, if you're thinking about learning and want to learn my system again i use the system in the morning when i'm making the picks but if you want to learn how i do it you would have to sign up for the golden gap course now this is a class i teach once a month march 26th and 27th is the march class that's next weekend nine to five class tuition is 69.99 you can be anywhere in the world and take it class is online you can email me if you want to sign up the 12 month subscription is six thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars for the newsletter it's a lot of trades. I mean, I just got done saying we're going to go over 18 trades from this one week. So if you're going to be active and you're going to trade, I mean, you're going to get your money's worth for that. The half annual is $49.99. Again, a really good amount of time, six months. That's a lot of time, too, in the letter. It'll take you into the second earning season of 2022 and then into the third because we're in the end of March here now. So <laughs> six months is, is a good amount of time. You wanna get on the letter, start trading. You like it, you do the class after the six months or sign up and renew for the year. Trades are emailed to you, again, live time. Most of the trades are sent in the morning of the pre-market. If you would like to sign up, you start getting the letters as soon as you start sign up. Sign up Sunday, you're gonna get Monday's trades. So let's talk about this particular week. It was a very, very, very good week. So the first trade was Facebook, 330 strikes that I called on the 13th. This was of January to expire the following Friday. It was a put. And again, I'm doing the weekly. So what happened with this one? The cost was $3.80 which looking back now was pretty cheap. <laughs> 20 contracts cost 7,600, sold at 12, great profit, 216% return on investment, profit 16,400. So again, this is taking it on the 13th and exiting the 18th. Let's take a look at the chart. So Facebook is here. One, two, three, boom, drop. Again, this doesn't even look like much, I'm sure, but it was a perfect, perfect entry. It was, it had momentum, okay? It dropped, when you're doing a put, you're doing a short, and it went. So again, with the getting, if you get the direction and timing right, you know, you get a perfect entry. You don't even have to have what you would think would be a monster move in the chart, and it can be a hugely profitable trade. This was 216% return investment, like I said. So again, the expiration date was the 21st. You could have even held this to the last day. Not that I think you should have done that. Really, when you're up in a trade, you should get out before the last day, but look where it went. 
It went to 290. 290. This was the 330 puts. So this 200% plus return investment was not an exit <laughs> that last day because I don't think it makes sense to hold till then. But it was a nice trade. So then we did the Netflix 520s. Okay, 520s expired January 21st. This was a put as well. Again, if you held this into the very, 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 very last day, you made more money. I'm gonna show this to you in a minute, but again, take it, get out, get in, get out, I think is the right thing to do. But in this case here, this had earnings on the night of the 20th. You didn't know what the earnings were gonna do. So when a trade is positive, you gotta get out of it with the move before the earnings. I knew the earnings were Thursday night. And it, it was a nice solid trade, but it would have been even bigger if you held it. You could have held half of it, I guess. Cost was $13.50, six contracts, 8,100 risk, sold at $24. Profit, 6,300, return on investment, 78%. But if you held it until the last day on a risk of 8,100, you could have made $66,900. That's using a closed price of that option. That wasn't even the high of the options chain that day on the Friday the 21st. Again, I get this question a lot. Here's the chart. Are these the highest price you could have got out? Absolutely not. It's, that's impossible to do all the time. It is possible to get the direction right with a high win ratio and, an, uh, and often. It is possible to get a fabulous entry. We do that often too. But to get out at the, always, always, always have the perfect exit, that's, that's very difficult. While I sometimes do have perfect high of the day exits it's not all the time i don't it's not even half the time to be honest with you i have good exits and and i do the best i can and sometimes i'll hold the trade and and and, and i should have got out but that's rare it's just you know you're, you're up you're up 78 percent, 85 percent. it's a it's a trade it's a positive trade to give back this profit plus the risk so you you could have potentially lost not just the risk and the you would have lost the profit too so do you see it's like a double whammy? Again, it worked in your favor if you held it here, but you don't know. You don't know, you don't know. That's the thing. So I think I'm actually conservative <clears throat> with my exits and options, which is one of the reasons why I don't always get a high of the day exit. And it's an active letter, 18 trades in one week. I mean, that's a lot. So here was the original day. Again, take it over, 520 puts, fell, now, again, if you held into the last day here, take it over, look where it went. It broke 400, fell, fell, fell. Came down here to like 360 or something. Next day it fell too, that was Monday. But if you held it the last day, it was a huge strike. We also did another one that day, a 525 strike. I did a couple different ones. Again, solid would drop down. $16 was the cost of this one, not cheap. Five contracts cost 8,000. Your risk should be similar or close to equal in every trade you take. Sold at 27, profit 5,500, return on investment 69%. That's great. 50% is great. Most people are losing trading, but if you held it the last day, the close on the price of the last day was 128. You could have made 56,000 risking eight. Again, this was the same drop. This was the drop. Boom, boom, boom. But this was the earnings look. It was really good. We also did the 530s. Again, same day, the 13th, 1750 for one. Do one contract if you want. You don't have to do more than one. Four contracts cost 7,000, sold at 30, profit 5,000, 71% return on investment. This is all taking them on that first day, the 13th, and getting out way before the earnings, obviously the close of the earnings of the earnings day after the day, the last day of expiration was 135, could have made 47,000. And again, I'm putting this in here because I wanted to go back. <laughs> I wanted to go back and see what it did when I saw how it tanked overnight. It was over 120 point gap down. And then I also, I also, I wanted to see what they were worth. And then I put it in here just because again, I get this question about exits. Am I always out at the high of the options chain? No, no. So we don't, we don't generally hold into the last day anyways. But in this case here with 
the earnings you could have got out of half, like I said. And it would have paid. <laughs> I mean, it would have paid. 535 Netflix is 956, same day. This was a higher strike, cost $20, four was 8,000, sold at 30, profit 4,000, return on investment 50%. Close on the 121, 135, 46,000, boom, in and out. Again, nice trade, but the close of the last day was huge. This is a solid trade here at 50%. You're, you're just taking the trade, you're guaranteeing yourself the profit by getting out with the money that you're up, not having to worry about their earnings. But this does show, again, this shows the power of the gap. And I make calls like this all the time. Doesn't mean I'm holding them through that, through that earnings up. But it shows the power of the gap. It also shows the power of momentum and getting the positioning right, which we did. Good entry, good timing too. So the same day we did the spies, 471 expired on the 21st. This was all that Thursday. I'm not going to do it to an expiration of the following day. Cost was 340, 25 contracts, risk was 8,500, sold at $24. This was a fabulous trade. I will show it to you. Profit 51,500, return on investment 606%. Again, this was a nice drop. You do not want to hold this into the last day. If you did, it was up more. I don't know what it was up that last day. I didn't go back and look at that. But anyways, here's the initial 471, okay? This was up every, it was up, gap down, up, 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 up. So you're basically up every day here. Again, very little money manager needed because every day you're up. You can get out of any day you want. Again, if you held it into the last day, where did it go? 437, it looks like about. That was crazy. Well over 30 points through the strike by the last day. But this was, you know, this is a nice exit here. 600 some percent return on investment to exit the Thursday. Nice selling, 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 selling. Again, that's what you want in a put, and that's what you want in an option. You've got to get the momentum going in your direction. If it's a put, it's down. If it's a call, it's up, okay? And we do do calls. These are not calls, but we, we do do them, and we have done them this year. QQQ, strike 388, expires 121. This was another put we did with the market. Cost was 420, 20 contracts, risk 8,400, sold at $24, profit 39,600, 471% return on investment. Again, this is was with the market. I read the market. I read the market gap. I saw this would fall. You could have made more holding the last day with this too. I did not do that. It doesn't make sense. But if you did, you made more. Here it is. It was so far through the strike. 388, drop, 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 drop. Again, boom. Here's the very last day. Where did it go? Under 350. Phenomenal. Almost 40 points to the strike on the last day. This was a great call. Like so many other calls I've made this year. But anyways, the, this one here is a great exit here right at 360. And this is the profit. If you took one contract and risked $420, you still could have had a 471% return on investment. You don't have to take a big risk, but I'm showing you here what the risk is advanced trader. And you could even take more than this if you want. Then we did the SPY 460s the day after the 13th, the 14th, expiring again the following Friday. Another big one, 360 cost, 20 contracts. Risk 7,200, sold at 12, profit 16,800. Return on investment 233%. So this was Friday. Let me find Friday. Oh, this was here. So this one was down into the close. Again, you let everything follow through. You cannot risk more than you can afford to lose. So you can let the trades play out. This was another nice call. It was tricky. If people killed it, they missed the trade. Why? We gapped down here Monday morning. So I called it here. Look, right at the strike, rally, fell. This is Friday, Monday, boom, drop, drop, drop. Again, you could have made more the last day. Broke 440. Here's the initial day of the 20th. But this, if you gotta, you gotta set your risk, live with it. It either wins or loses. And that's how I play it. And I really think that's the best way to make the most possible money. Then I called the QQQs to do the similar thing backed up. 374 strike, expired the 21st. Again, this was Friday. 
Cost 380, 20 contracts, risk was 7,600, sold 1150, profit 15,400. This is holding it through the Friday. It was down into the close, getting the gap down Monday morning and the sell off. And it was returned an investment of 203%. This is something that I'm very, 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 very good at doing. What do I mean? Reading what's going to happen and predicting what's going to happen in the future based on the gap rating. So that's what I do. I look at a chart. It's advanced technical analysis by reading gaps. I read the gap, I predict if the gap's gonna take the stock or the market higher or lower or fail, okay? Like this could have been a gap down failure. It wasn't, but it could have been, do you follow me? In which case we wouldn't have shorted. <clears throat> this was a gap up failure, actually. Anyways, here's the Friday, called the 374s. Gap down, fell, 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 fell. Here's the day before. Nice trade. That was a 374s. Gosh, January seems like so long ago. Then we did Goldman Sachs. This didn't move the way I wanted it to, but it was still profitable. It was a rinky dinker. These banks are hard to trade as options, honestly, but sometimes we do them. 365, called it in the pre-market in the morning Tuesday. Held it into the last day. Try to squeeze something out of it. I'll show you the chart. $16, it wasn't cheap for one. Five, risk of 8,000, sold at 19, $1,500 profit. I squeezed this out. Now, here's what happened. So it was the 18th. Only did it for the 21st. Again, 365s, this should have gone more. It just should have, you know, it's it didn't go fast enough. That was the problem. Like if this had just gone mm, like that, it went, it, it wasn't a loser, but it, it, it took till Monday really look. So I could have done this out longer. Actually, now that I think about it, this would have been, that would have been a good trade because we, we, if we had paid a little bit more to the 365s, look, I broke 330. I don't know why I did that so tight. I thought I was gonna go, that's why. Uh, SPY 458, Tuesday to Friday. $4, 20 contracts, risk 8,000, sold at 950, another just solid trade. You take it, you book it, get out. This was the same week, profit 11,000, return on investment 138%. Show the 458s, take it up. Here's the 18th. Here it is, get the drop, boom, get out. Again, you can hold it in the last day, you could have made more money. It doesn't make sense, you're risking the profit. I also quote the 455s that day. I saw it was going to continue. Keep going. Keep going. So this one here I called 925 and then I called right away as this into 937. The 455s. Cost a little bit cheaper. Three. 25 contracts for 7,500 sold at eight. Profit 12,500. Return on investment 167%. Nice, nice move. This is here. Right here. There's the drop. Again, here's 455. Sometimes I will stack them. I will stack them. This strike, this strike, this strike. If I see it's gonna keep falling into the strikes. So you could do them all, you could do one. You could do the cheapest one if you have a small account. Then I called the 450s that same day, but later, again, I saw it was gonna keep going, and it did. Cost was two bucks for these. That seems insane down with the cost of puts right now. 40 contracts, risk was 8,000, sold at 360, profit 6,400, return on investment 80%. Tuesday afternoon, get the drop. I saw it was gonna follow through. Again, this is 18th. I saw it was gonna keep going, it did. Boom, boom, boom. Again, you've gotta get momentum in options to make money. Now this was a little pricing. Same day the 18th, Amazon 3100s. These are fun to trade. I call them high flyers, but they are expensive. So you've got to be able to take the risk. Cost was 2100, four contracts for 8400 sold at 72, profit 20,400, return on investment 243%. A very solid trade. Again, this is a put. Amazon is expensive. It isn't cheap, but we had a great entry here. A beautiful entry. Stock closed here, gap down. Boom. Called the trade again early. Got the drop, here's the sell off, boom. Again, another one you could have held <laughs> into the last day and made more money. 
I mean, seriously. The Diamond 350s we did. We don't always do this, but I did Tuesday afternoon. Gonna put cheap $1.85.50 contracts for 92.50, sold at 320, $6,750. We did this late. Return investment 73%. In other words, you would have gotten a bigger trade on this if you had done this in the morning. You know, I, I saw we were going and just, you know, that was that. Close to your gap down. Again, here's the drop. Boom. Selling, selling, selling. Puts our shorts. We did another Facebook then on the 18th. Oh, we did the same strike. Was that right? Yeah, we did. The 330s. $11 for one. Eight was 8,800, sold at 20, profit 7,200, return investment 82%. Uh, this was not cheap, okay? This was on 18th here. That's, the, we did that, it was in the money. I don't know why I did those 330s. Now that I'm thinking about that, yeah, that was already, that's why that was $11. Then we did the 372 Qs. Again, sometimes I'll do multiple strikes the same week, the same day, especially if I say the market's gonna go. 375, which is reasonable for the market, 20 contracts sold at 70, sold at 950, risk 7,500 and made 11,500. A solid trade. 100% is great. Return on investment, 153%. Again, the ones we made 400, 500, 600%, we had very early entries on. They were, they were really great calls just to see where we were going to go so early. Uh, this was then the 18th. Take it over. We did the 372s. Mm -mm -mm. There's the job. Again, you could have made more holding the last day. <laughs> we also did the 370s, so I did a different strike same day. Okay. Cost three dollars, twenty-five contracts, seventy-five hundred sold at seven fifty. Profit eleven thousand two fifty. Return on investment one hundred fifty percent. This is taking on the Tuesday, exiting on the Thursday. Again, could have made more money if you held it through. Again, three seventies. Take it over. It's dropping here, almost twenty bucks through the strike. And then the last day, where did it go? Three thirty-five. No, it went past three thirty-five. It's just, just such a nice call. We got this too. We got that sell off too. So, you know, one of the things I think people, I'll go back up here, miss out on with options. And one of the benefits of trading options is that when you're in an option and you, one of the benefits of trading options is that if you're in an option, and just listen to me, if you're in an options trade, Say you're in a put, you're already in it. I don't care if you're up or down, whatever. If it gaps in your favor, continues down and gaps down and you're already in it and you're in a put, you were gonna be up more money or you could be negative and then positive or if you were out money the day before, you're gonna be up more. That is one of the huge benefits of doing options and why so many of these trades ended up being such big returns and investments. You can hold overnight. Your risk is all that you have at risk as far as the cost of the trade. That's why I say let trades play out. If you're down in something, you don't have to kill it. If you have time left, give it a chance to work. Don't risk more than you can afford. If you're in a call and you're up and it gaps up in your direction, you're going to be up more. Or you could be in a call and you're down and it gaps up in your direction and you could be up and you the day before you were down. Again, getting the gap in your direction already in and in a call if it gaps up and a call is along, you're going to be up more. That is one of the benefits of doing options in reference to the way that I trade them. So I trade them a very specific way. I'm trading the gap and I'm picking the gap based on my golden gap rating system, which I teach in this class. So you can learn the class if you want. You could just sign up for the newsletter if you just want the trades. You could start trading Monday if you want. If you have experience trading options, you just may want to do just that. If you have questions, you can email me. If you want to sign up, email me. Have a great weekend, everybody.